So if you own a Books device, you've probably installed Firmware Update 4.0 by now. If you haven't installed it, maybe you'll install it after this video. Today we're going to dive into one of the features that's been added that some people like, some people hate, some people just won't use it. Well, we're going to dive into it. Let's talk about it. Welcome everybody back to the channel. This is Aaron Reed with 2530 Media. If you're new here or you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you're enjoying the information that you're listening to or you find it helpful, hit that like button. It, it's somewhere over there. So today we're going to dive into the Books Platform's 4.0 firmware. This firmware has been out for a while now, or at least a couple of weeks or maybe a month or so. And we're going to talk about one key feature that I found inside the Upware that I've kind of added to my workflow. Now, if you've watched one of the past videos, you'll see how I set up my workflow where I kind of had a landing page because at the time, the books platform didn't have any kind of outline or table of contents feature inside its native notes app. Well, now they've added an outline feature to that native notes app on your books devices. Now I use the books go 10.3. So we're going to dive into the 10.3 and I'll show you how I've implemented this feature within one of my workflows. Now let's dive into it. All right, guys. So as always, we'll be starting from the home page. And from there, we're going to navigate to the native notes app to the books go 10.3 or your books device, whichever books device that you have. So for me, it's the 10.3, and we're going to navigate to that Notes app that's native to it. So from there, I have a sample workflow notebook set up for you guys. So in implementing this outline feature, I would only use it primarily in just one single notebook. Normally, when I set up a workflow, um, I'll have a landing page, and from that landing page, I would have attached several different notebooks or PDF files that I would use to correspond to that one project or that one idea that I'm working on. Well, in using this new feature with the outline, this is something that I would use when I'm only working within one notebook. So what I have set up here is kind of like a sample workflow that I use when I'm doing some of my creative writing or when I am brainstorming for one of my blog posts that I do. So this sample project, I just called it the art of organization and I just kind of made me a cover page. So the first thing we'll do is we'll talk about how to set up the actual outline. So if you want to set up the actual outline, the first step, once you start gathering your information and you say, Hey, you know what? I kind of want to make this summary and outline. The very first thing you would do is long press on the page. Now you're going to get a menu with three selections, paste, text box, and now this new thing is add to outline. Once you click add to outline, it's gonna give you the choice to give that outline a name. We'll name it summary. And then from there, it lets me know that summary is on page two. And then once I click okay, then I'll add that outline. Once your outline is added, you'll be able to access it right here from your page number menu bar. This new middle icon right here is going to be your outlines icon. This icon is going to house all of the outlines that you've created throughout your notebook. So as you see here, I've already created four outlines. And if I want to navigate to where those outlines are housed, I just simply click on it. So right now I have summary, chapter notes, chapter two, and chapter three. So let's navigate to chapter three. Once I've selected chapter three, it takes me to that page where I have my chapter three notes. Now, this is the second piece of the outlines feature that I use that I, that I like. So now that we've created our outline, you see I have four here, like I said before. The cool thing about this outline feature is I can also add sub outlines to a already created outline. So for example, we're going to check on our chapter one notes. Let's see what I wrote. 
So once I clicked on the um, arrow to point it down, now it lets me know I have a sub outline. It's a YouTube video link. It's on page three. So I can easily navigate to that now. And I've clicked on it. I see down here, YouTube. I've inserted a YouTube link. And I can click on this link, and that will allow me to see the information that I made so I could take some more notes. So let's click on that link and see what happens. Once you click on the link, it gives you the option here. Yes, I want to select it. Now I have to open it. And now it's taking me to that YouTube video link that I inserted in my notes for review so I can take some more notes. Now that's only if you want to watch YouTube on e-ink. It's just okay. So now that you know you can add a sub outline to an outline, I'll show you how to do that. So while I'm in my outlines menu, I'm under chapter one notes. I already have one sub outline that's a YouTube video link. Let's say I want to add another one. I'll click over here on my three dots. Gives me some more choices. Add sub outline, edit, or delete. Eh, let's add one. So I'm going to add one, and now I'm going to add uh, focus points. Focus points also is on page three, so I'll leave that page the same. I'll hit OK. And now I've created another sub outline to my chapter one notes outline that I can easily access. So let's go through a couple of the other ones. Let's see what I have for chapter two. I go there. I have a sub outline, custom template. I click on that. It's going to take me to my page, custom template management. And I have a couple of things written out here for custom template management. And so basically, that's how that outline feature works and it helps you organize your information. Now, a couple of things about using the outline. First off, if you are someone who likes to write with the palm recognition off, you're gonna have to have it on to create these outlines because you have to long press your page to create the outline. Once you're in your outlines menu and you're accessing these outlines, you do have a little bit more choices. Uh, if you want to go here to your three dots, you can always edit the name of the uh, outline. You can delete the outline. Or like we showed you earlier, you can add a sub outline to it. Now, one of the other things that I use when organizing my information inside of my notebook is the use of tags. I don't use scribbles a lot. I don't do a lot of drawing the squares or the stars. I just I don't like drawing, but I do use tags a lot. So another way that I actually organize my information within my notebooks is by the use of tags. So I'll show you guys this feature. Your tags feature is going to be right here. That lets you know it's your tags icon. Once you click on that, this is going to show you all the tags that you have built within that notebook. Uh, if you see here, it looks like I have a total of five tags. Looks like more, but eh, whatever. No, I'm sorry, a total of 12. I have a total of 12 tags. So these arrows up here, these arrows are important because they allow you to organize your tags um, the way that you would like to see your information. I like to keep my tags organized from the latest tag I've made. So when you click on those arrows, you'll see you have a couple of choices here. One is time added recent, and that's going to put the most recent tag that you added at the top of this uh, page. The next one is time added oldest. It's going to put the oldest tag that you made at the top of this page. The next one is going to be ascending tags, and that's just going to be um, by the page number. So it'll start from the smallest page number, like one down to the biggest. And then, of course, the last one is descending, and it's going to go from the highest number page down to the smallest. So we'll just select those so you can see how it organizes your information.
Now, I like this tag organization function because it really lets me go directly to certain parts of the information that I want to access. And I like to keep mine on the recent. So for an example, I'll usually make uh, titles of different information a tag. So right here, you can see I made Microsoft Word. I made that a tag because I was talking about my custom template management and how I make those custom templates. So each topic change, Mac OS pages is what I use. I made it a tag. So I can go here and I can go through my tags. Let's say I want to jump to Microsoft Excel. I click on that. And now it tells me how I set up my Microsoft Excel workflow. And then I can quickly go back here and say, I want to talk about the VPN stylus. I click on that and I have down here my VPN stylus. So for everyone who doesn't know how to make a tag, I'll show you guys one more time. It's real simple. So let's make one. So now that you have your word or phrase that you want to make a tag, you simply just smart lasso it. Once you smart lasso it, you'll see here that you'll have some menus up here. You just go to tag. It's processing. Hello Houston is what I'll keep it. I'll hit OK. And now I've made that tag. And if we go here to our tag management, you will see I have it set up where it's going to show me my most recent tags first. Hello Houston is a tag that's made on page seven. So let's navigate away from that right quick. We're going to read over these topics. Oh, let me go back to that um, last tag I made, which was Hello Houston. I click on that and I'm back to it. So this is the process I use when I'm working in, within one notebook. And this is what I use with the new feature of outlines and my tag management as well to navigate through my information so I can get my work done. So a couple of key takeaways for me when using this new outline feature on the books go 10.3. I wish I didn't have to long press the page to access it. I wish that I could lasso whatever I wanted to make the title of my new outline. And once I lasso it, it appears in the toolbar. We all know that the books products doesn't give you a toolbar on top of what you lasso, but at least give me the option to add the outline in the toolbar once I lasso a word. Um, and the other issue I have is that I have to long press the page to do it. A lot of the times when I'm writing, I actually turn the palm recognition off because I really don't use gestures like that. I like to write and move my hand around a page sometimes, and I like it when pages aren't moving. So a lot of times I do turn off the palm recognition while writing. And if I have the palm recognition off, I clearly can't long press the page to bring up the option to add an outline. But outside of that, I like the new outline feature. It just gives me an extra layer of organization when I'm working within my workflow, and it allows me to give things a proper place to easily go back and access in conjunction with using my tags system. Now, I only use this outline system when I am working within a notebook and I'm going to have multiple pages of information, like uh, let's say 15 to 20 pages of information. That's when I will use that um, tool as like a table of contents. Now, if I'm working on multiple notebooks that will correspond with one thought, one idea or one project, that's when I go back to making my landing page with links to those notebooks and PDFs that I'll be working on. Okay, so that was just an example of how I've implemented the outline feature into one part of my workflow that I do when I'm working on certain projects. Now, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you're a user of the books platform, do you think it's a useful way to utilize that option? Or do you wish that they would have put it in there a little differently, maybe gave us a little bit different way to use it? 
Um, if you're not a books platform user, I know a lot of super note people are telling me that the outlines feature or table of contents feature on a super note device works way better, flows way better. Um, and if you believe that, go ahead and throw that in the comments of this. Let me know how you feel. Um, let me know how you use it. If you do use the outlines feature within the books platform, how do you use it? I, I would like to see if it's any differently than I use it. And I would also like to see if I can find better ways to use it. Or I would love to see if there's a platform that utilizes this type of feature in a better way. So thank you guys for checking me out. Thank you guys for watching the content. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And until next time.